I just bought the best carbon fiber tripod that nobody's ever heard of, and I'm loving it. Now this tripod isn't for everyone, but what tripod is? Too heavy, too flimsy, too short, too tall, ball head stinks, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what I have here is the CS80C with the UB40 ball head. Now, if you're looking for a lightweight, easy to pack tripod, this probably isn't the one for you. This, along with the ball head, meaning the tripod plus the ball head, comes in at about four and a half pounds, and that's pretty hefty. But there's a lot that goes into this tripod. As you can see, I'm about 5'8". Now, I'm standing on a little bit of a slanted ground, but this tripod at eye level, I can't even see the camera fully extended. As you can see, meaning the LCD screen. I'm not eye to eye or eyeball to eyeball with it. So that being said, if that's a hindrance, this might not be the tripod for you. But for me, I've been looking for the longest time for a tripod just like this one that I can use in and around my city and to both travel with. And this fits the bill. I wanted something that could stand in strong winds. As you can see, the strong wind. <laughs> so as you can see, it's pretty windy out here. The Benro Travel Angel tripod took a little bit of a spill, and that's my fault too. I mean, it's extra windy out here. We're just coming out of a huge blizzard storm. In Southern California's Ventura County, multiple RVs swept into the river. The historic winter weather walloped California with heavy snow and strong wind gusts, creating blizzard-like conditions in the San Bernardino County Mountains. And Los Angeles experiencing its first blizzard warning in more than 30 years. We've seen so much snow and rain in the mountains and here locally that uh, we haven't seen in a long time. So. This is not normal, but nonetheless, in windy conditions, you definitely want to tie down your tripod, but you want a sturdy tripod, and this is a hefty, hefty tripod, and the Ben Road Travel Agent tripod, it actually comes in at about $415 with the ball head uh, mounted on this tripod, and this one here, the Art Size tripod with ball head, comes in at just under $300. So let me tell you that I've been looking for this type of deal and this type of quality in a tripod for a very long time. Again, this art size tripod is a very hefty tripod. It has about one inch or more, a little more than one inch diameter legs and then it tapers off as it goes down the leg. And it's something that you may not be willing to lug up mountains to do your landscape photography or travel through airports. I recently traveled to South Carolina with it and it was a tale of two planes. On the way there, I was able to fit the tripod underneath the seat in front of me along with my backpack. Now it did stick out a little bit on the floor, but it fit fine. But in the next ride home, I had to put it, luckily there was nobody sitting next to me. I put it down uh, in the bin next to mine and it was just something that you just will have to deal with, but it's worth dealing with because I love this tripod. I've never had a tripod like this one, so I'm just letting you know that I never spent more than $200 on a tripod, and this is my first outing on that. And if you consider the top tripods out there, these tripods are well into the high $100 mark or even into the thousands, depending on the brand. And this is just quality for the price quality for the price. And I wanna tell you, I'm not being sponsored by this company. I bought this, just researching it out on my own, ran across this tripod, and I was willing to spend the just under $300 to get this tripod, and I'm just loving it. So I'm not gonna lie, this wimpy Southern California boy cannot handle any kind of cold. It is California cold for me, at least in Southern California. And I'm just cold. Plus there's a little bit of a wind chill factor, but I'll make it through the video. So this tripod right here, the Art Size, can go down as low without the center column to about eight inches off the ground. 
and then attaching the ball head might add a couple inches or so. But then after that, you can extend or fully extend the tripod to about 67 inches, again, without the ball head, and then add a couple inches there. And then if you want to add the center column, it gets up to about 81 inches, again, without the ball head and a few inches higher than that. So it gets up there, especially if you're about 5'8", 5 5'9", 5 5 it's in a good range. So you can lower it down. So as you see the tripod behind me, I have not extended it fully. I left the bottom portion tucked away and that leaves you at a nice little height, especially at my height. But if you need that height, it's there without sacrificing stability with a center column that can get a little unstable. We all do it. I have the center column if I need it, but nonetheless, that's just to get to bigger or taller height. So I actually put it up against the Benro, the one that I'm filming on right here. And when you pull the bottom section down or tuck it away, it's about the same height as the Benro, this $400 tripod here that it matches up well with. So I would say that this is a great bargain, a great deal to go out and get if you're looking for a beefy tripod, one that you can handle or would want to take up and down mountains. Most people do not. I don't mind it. I just think about it as added weight, but nonetheless added stability when out in the wild. Or if you just think you require a tripod that is solid, well built and can stick in the sand at the beaches and get those long exposures and just have less shake and that's really what i've been looking for i'm really looking forward to using this tripod for years to come so earlier i mentioned that the tripod plus the ball head comes in at about four and a half pounds one pound of that is the ub40 art size ball head and at one pound you would think you know, that thing better handle a lot of weight, and it does. It handles up to 44 pounds of weight. So that is a lot of equipment that you can put on this ball head plus the hefty tripod, hence a lot more stability for you and the cameras that you're carrying out to shoot your photography with. Lastly, the ball head comes with an assortment of different levers and fasteners to keep your equipment secure, stable, and tight on your tripod. I'm gonna say go out and get this tripod if you're looking for a hefty, sturdy tripod. Again, it's not for the faint of heart. It is a little bit heavy, but it's gonna keep your equipment strong, tight, secure, and all the good things. So look down in the description below and you can look at the exact tripod and ball head that I purchased. And Art Size also sells an assortment of other tripods and ball heads that you can use for your photography and video needs. Till the next one, love y'all, peace.